following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Dow Industrials right now are up by 71. You get the NASDAQ up 24. S&Ps are up 8.5. Gold contract up $21, trading out at $1,194. You got silver up 44 cents at $16.15. Light sweet crude flat at $55.65. Uh, bonds, you get the 10 year flat. 30 year is up five ticks. And King Dollar, folks, up 117 ticks at 90.34. The euro is down 52. The yen is trading up 35 at 120.45. Our phone number is 877 927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. Now, let's go to the world of the dollar, folks, because the world of the dollar, this is what you have uh, in a big way. Dollar index, okay? All-time, well, not all-time highs. Highs uh, getting into the high from last week, which the high from last week was uh, 90.40. We've hit 90.37. The continuous contract, what it, what it has been doing is that it is going after the 2005 high, which is uh, 92.53. We've made it up to 90.37. That being said, this dollar is topping out. Why? Uh, bottom line, what you see out here in gold is that gold and silver both are uh, moving, and the, the structure in, inside of that gets kind of intriguing. Uh, gold had moved down last week, had light volume on the move down in correlation as to what it was going into. So this correlation goes like this. You come down with 132,000 contracts, you were going into uh, 342,000 contracts. Now, that being said, you only have 51,000 contracts on the way up here, but once you're inside this 1182 again, which we are at 1194, that's saying it's going to make the run for this 1239 area. And what I expect, you, it looks like you have up here, more than likely you're going to have an ABC structure on the way up. And it's a decent one, too. Um, you know, and, and we'll see uh, how it tries to attack this 1333, because the 1333, 1347 is game on a longer term basis here. If we go back to the markets and we take a look at the markets, what you have inside the markets is this. The IBB folks gave the indication that guess what? This is gonna be one beautiful downdraft. Uh, IBB got taken apart. First we had made a high out here on the 19th of December. That high was generated at three, four, $319.14. Uh, 2 million shares. You come off that high with 3.6 million. It's doing a beautiful counter trend bounce right now. I'd actually love to see this IBB get somewhere up until a uh, uh, 310 area. Right now you're at 304.45. Now, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform yet, folks, come over to our website at TFNN, and what you're going to see, you'll see the banner on the top on the side. You can hit that banner. You can bring up the platform. They'll put $25,000 or paper money into it, uh, and you can start to understand exactly how these contracts trade. You've heard the promotion many times that your trade is your stop. Bottom line is that that's what you have out here. And with the volatility that we have uh, that's running around, it's one beautiful thing. So market-wise, uh, well, yeah, let's go. Let's stay in the gold market for a second. If we go to Rango Resources first, we take a look at Rango Resources. Um, you're building a consolidation out here. You had 84,000 shares traded out here today. Uh, it's going to need more. Bottom line, you're going you're to need more shares, but I like how this whole market is setting up, meaning the, the physical metals market. Uh, I like how the S&P is setting up also, uh, because what you do have is this. Now, what's going to be intriguing here is this, is that what we have is next Thursday, of course, is New Year's, but we have a full week of trading. So Monday and Tuesday, I suspect you're going to get some action. You know, uh, what we what we definitely do have is that you're going to be the day after New Year's markets open, but that'll be a quiet day. But I think coming Monday and Tuesday, uh, Wednesday New Year's Eve will be slow. But coming Monday and Tuesday, there's going to be some action in this marketplace. 
uh, because the first, this wasn't the first sell down in that IBB. Uh, if you take a look at that, there's some, there's some nice damage inside of Gilead, which is one of the largest weightings uh, structure inside of that. That came off that high of 112, yeah, 116, gets down to 85. Uh, with some nice volume. You're bouncing with, light, with lighter volume right now. That's setting up a nice leg uh, to, the lower, to the lower end. CELG, Celgene. What we have with Celgene, same type of setup in Celgene. She comes down hard. She's trading at 112 right now. Uh, within three days, she went from 118 down to 103. Those kinds of numbers uh, are big numbers, folks. BIIB, Biogen, Biogen, uh, you talk about volatility, this stock really loves some volatility. So Bio, Biogen went from the price point of uh, 361 to 328. <laughs> Excuse me. There's some volatility for you. Um, and Bi Biogen's going to be making its way down to this uh, 290 area. So there's, there's some big numbers. We go over to Big Blue, take a look at Big Blue, what we have with Big Blue. She's uh, at 162 right now, and we'll see how she tries to get into that. I suspect Big Blue's going to try to get into 166 before she falls apart again. Uh, but that is building some heavy cause to get into a lower price. We go to the silver contract. So silver up is up twice the amount of gold out here percentage-wise. Uh, that's what you can S S I S I H. That's what you can expect in that silver in that silver market. What happens is that these uh, so silver right now is up 38 cents. We're doing 11,000 contracts, which is light contracts. Uh, she only needs a couple more pennies. She needs a couple more pennies to hang up there. A couple more pennies, then then she's going to uh, basically get some de decent action. We take a look at some of the high volume stocks. So today you're going to have a low volume market. You are opened all day though. We have GoPro right now up a buck forty two. You have uh, Jaleed up two sixty three. Microsoft's down ten. Uh, and what you did have yesterday when uh, they were releasing that movie, no, no doubt, which is the they released uh, the interview on what on uh, Sony on Go. Let's see on uh, Google Play. Um, and what did happen is that uh, trying to get on those sites was um, almost impossible. Um, so we'll see how many more hacks get into that and just what kind of trouble it, that comes into. Uh, don't forget, folks, uh, if you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see that Nadex banner on the right-hand side. And inside that um, Nadex platform, there's a lot of different contracts that you can trade where they're trading uh, the, the binaries and all the spreads. Uh, and that would be coming down to whether you're trading gold, whether you're trading the commodities, whether you're trading the indices, or the currencies. And I suspect the way that this is uh, being long the dollar has been a sweet trade for about seven months right now. Uh, I suspect we're going to see some kind of return on this. Um, you know, because the inside the metals market uh, out here today, there's some real, there's some real juice. You got silver up 2.5 percent, gold's up 1.6. Uh, natural gas is getting uh, taken to the clean. Is uh, well, it's down 1.8. It's, it's, it's it, this stretch in natural gas. It's you know it was 55 yesterday in Boston. <laughs> um, so bottom line is that uh, we're going to see some low prices out here. If we go look at NG1, we put a continuous contract up in natural gas. Uh, we're 12 or 297 right now in the continuous. Yeah, it's uh, it's game. This thing is game down to two thirds. This is <laughs> this is going to be some destruction here. So natural gas, yeah, two forty nine is the next stop. It's a long way down. This thing might even break two forty nine, one ninety. That'll be insane. But bottom line, that's how it, that's how it's set up at this particular point. We go over to, over the oil market. CLG five. What we have inside oil. Oil is building cause to get into lower price. Uh, oil uh, basically has 50 bucks on the agenda here. We've, we've built cars out here for nine days right now. Uh, 53.94 is the number and if this, this looks to me like you know it's gonna be wild here. So the way this is set up, this is gonna be a mind blower man. The way this is set up is oil set up to go to $39. And if we break this 54 bucks on like 450,000 contracts, that's where this thing's going to squeak out to. And the thing that's bizarre 
is that it does have from the the downdraft um, in 2008. It's I believe it was 32 dollars, but 39 dollars would be the price point that it's going after. Yeah, the low of 2008 is 32 dollars and 40 cents, and once you get into 54 dollars, depending on how far we get into it, that's that's where that baby wants to go, and that folks would put some major destruction on lots of companies in, in a huge way too, not in a small way. The divergence that we have out here right now, no doubt, is that everything is getting pushed around and it does have lighter volume. So you can make the argument if you are a metal bear, you can make that argument also that, hey, listen, this is a dead cat bounce inside that context, you know. So uh, the, because what would it, what we, what you need is you need an expansion over this 1203. I just happen to like how this is shaking out because what you have inside the gold contract is this. You're coming into a sign of strength from November 7th, November 14th, December, December 1st. That's how this baby is set up right now. And uh, the dollar index, that is a 100% move of a move. And uh, you know when you do that uh, move that's that large, that's when it wants to pull back. GPRO, GoPro, I'm sure there's a lot of GoPros that were given out uh, for Christmas. We're up $1.82, that's trading out at $68. And this little baby is getting ready for its next leg down. Um, this is off the high of $96.45. Uh, it's dead cat bounce in an extraordinary way. If we pull this back and we put this, well, I can't pull it back that many years. Let's see, I'll pull it back. Yeah, this thing is set up, it's not that bad. Well, no, it's, it's set up to go down to $49. That's, that's quite a number. And once you get, you get to $49, that would put everyone that bought it uh, after the first three days of uh, trading into a losing position outside of the aspect that uh, if you got it on the IPO, because the, the IPO structure, I believe this was a lot less than, than the IPO. So yeah, the I, well, check this out. The IPO, if you got an IPO, is 20, $24. The secondary, though, went off at $75. So someone's already lost a huge amount of money. There was a secondary on November 19th, 11.91 million shares at $75. They were already at 68. Pretty intense. Let's go to Tom in Pittsburgh. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Hey, um, have a good Christmas. I did. Yourself? Yeah, it's good. Good. Uh, I don't know if you like wrestling. I do. Greco Roman? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go see the movie Foxcatcher. Foxcatcher, okay. Yeah, it's a true story on uh, the DuPonts and the uh, Schultz brothers. Really? Yeah, remember uh, back in 96, uh, uh, John DuPont uh, murdered uh, Dave Schultz? Yeah, he was a kind of a wild one. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that's what the movie's about. And uh, it was filmed right here where I lived in Swiftly. Wow. Okay, you stay right there. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now up 47. NASDAQ's up 23. S&Ps are up 6.5. Coming right back, folks. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rose, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. You get the uh, Dow Industrials up 50, Nasdaq up 22, S&Ps are up 6.5. We're talking with Tom from Pittsburgh, and I believe he's going to be, going to be talking about the ERY. Now, the ERY, folks, is the direction 300% correlation uh, of the daily price move of the energy. So it's the inverse of the price move of the energy select sector. The low is 19, the high is 22. Okay, so what are we doing with this baby, Tom? Well, I'm looking for a good place to get in. I know there's a gap there. Uh, the uh, bottom of the gap is on uh, November 26th. But I'm wondering if it's going to go down possibly to around uh, you know, 16.07, the low of uh, November 21st. Okay, so this one here always confuses me a little because it moves both ways. So the, it's the, the bear three times inverse of the energy sector. So if I go over to the XLE, the XLE is, okay, so the XLE is building cause to get up to $89 and we're 80 right now. So we go back to the ERY and what you have with the ERY, so the, the correlation is that, yeah, you can maybe see, no, I mean, I, I wouldn't be buying this. This is, this is going to go a lot lower, man. No, hold. Oh, okay. No, this is no, no. Stay with me here. This is where this gets okay. weird because, so this is the inverse 
Yeah, so this wants to go into the gap first. So what you have is this, okay? We, it goes from a price point of $16 up to almost $29, $28.70. That's when the oil service stocks, they made their first move down. Now what you've done is you come down, you actually had some juice on the way down on the 18th. Yeah, I'd let this thing try to get into uh, at least 1796. Where I'm going with that, Tom, is the, uh, the 11th, the 13th, rather, of November. I'd right. let it get into that area first. And what I would do, what you're going to have here, folks, is this. I wouldn't be putting trades on today at all. And the reason being is that the market itself is going to get moved around. And that's the, when I just brought that up with the, the dollar versus the metals, that's the suspect move inside of that also. And you can make, the bulls or the bears can make a case there. What I do expect, you're going to see, Tom, though, on Monday, I think everyone's going to have a shot to go long or shot, depending on what they want to be in the market. But I expect Monday and Tuesday there's going to be some action. And if the XLE, so if I go back to the XLE, the XLE uh, bottom line is a, two separate high volume lows right now. So that's saying that, okay, that wants to make it down to 69 and you're at 80. You know, this thing came down hard, folks. We came down off 100 bucks, you're at 57 right now. What you'd love to see is the XLE jump up to like 82, 64. And if that's the case, then you're gonna have the ERY move into those lower swings and that would be the buy. And then you put the stop right underneath it. Okay. Uh, one thing, uh, too, I've noticed on gold, I don't know, maybe you could shed some light on it, but I've noticed that if they don't slam gold, if gold doesn't get slammed down on Friday, yes, I've noticed that on Monday it usually gets hit. I don't know if you've seen that, if you've noticed that. Um, I, I haven't really. Uh, it doesn't mean it hasn't happened, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... What you have, what I've seen in gold more than anything is this. Technically, it's set up to go higher. Fundamentally, it's absolutely set up because uh, when we were talking, you know, I had, uh, I was talking with Steve Rhodes on, on, on Friday, I mean on, on Wednesday. But even when gold, folks, is down at 1170, you can't buy gold at 1170. You go out and try to buy some. What will end up happening at 1170, you're going to be able to buy gold at about 1235, 1240. That says, that the spreads have gone up dramatically in gold, meaning the amount of premium you have to pay if you're actually buying gold. That's telling me also that, guess what, we're going higher. And the equities themselves are leading, you know. So when I look at that, that structure, that's why when I put that together, gold's going up, you know. Okay. Because there's one thing you can get a number, then you go try to buy it, and you can't get it at that number. That says quite a bit, man, so. Okay. Go see Fox Catcher. I will. Like, so it's it's about the uh, John Dupont. Yeah, and that's uh, it. Was, it takes place in the uh, late '80s. You know, the uh, Schultz brothers. They both won the gold in Los Angeles in '84. Okay. In uh, wrestling, and he wanted to make Fox Catcher Farms the center of U.S. wrestling, and he had the money to do it. Yes. And uh, it's, it's Steve Carell that uh, plays uh, John Dupont. He does an excellent job. Now watch it, man. Yeah, it's a little yeah, decadent, so right? Easy. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Have a great right, one, thanks. man. Have a safe one. You stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials are up to 48. NASDAQ up 22. S&P's up 6.5. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender.
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.com. MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach out levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrial is up 47. NASDAQ up 24. S&P is up 6.5. And, and, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform yet, come over to our website at TFNN. You can see the banner on the top on the side. You can hit the Nadex banner, bring it up. They'll put 25000 of funny money, of paper money, into your account. You can trade these contracts, get used to trading these contracts, and see exactly how they trade, that your trade is your stop. And I suspect uh, once you bring that up, uh, you can... Look at it out there today, uh, next Monday, the beginning of next year, you're going to have some nice volatility in this market. The IBB started it once again. Uh, if we go over to the Russell 2000, you know, the Russell 2000 has been trying to hit its high for since last July. Uh, the Russell out here right now is at uh, today 214.252, and that high uh, was 213.55. So the Russell's at its high, and this is kind of just the ultimate in the aspect of, number one, how you get into the high, and number two, uh, you're going to get into this high, and this is really what's always bizarre to me, is that it's like, how does this work? Because, you know, it's trying to get it, get it, get it. You make it on a day. If, I, if we just take this correlation for the uh, IWM, so you see the correlation right off the bat with the volume. The IWM folks had made the high in July 1st with 65 million. Now that 65 million on itself was light volume making it high and then the IWM uh, basically gave it up. It went from 120 down to 104. Uh,
bottom line, it makes it all the way back. And today, you're going to see that it makes it back. And you're talking about extremely light volume, uh, that correlation. So the way that shakes out, number one, is that, okay, first off, is it going to stay over the high? And secondly, um, well, we know the, the volume characteristic. It's not even going to be close. Um, so it's going to be all about price right now. We're at 120.50. Uh, hit 120.61. Right now you're at 120.49. That's on the top side. And if you want to take a look at how uh, channels can be set up so cool, uh, this IWM is, is a classic. And we take, when you take a look at the, the tops of the channels versus the bottom of the channels, what you're going to see is where the volume is, where the push is. So the, the first low, and watch this, the first low on the IWM, we get, this brings us all the way back to the beginning of 2014, folks, okay? And now we're going to 2015. You, you take a look at the first spike down, February 7th. You did 315 million shares, you got down to 107. It goes back topside, you go up with 270. So remember, down with 315, up with 270. You come back down again, you come back down with 320. That hits 107. That was in May. You go back up. You do a 146. You go back down, it's 227. You go back up, it's 175. You go back down, it's 432. And now we're up here, and you're up here with nothing. That, this setup is really a sweet setup, folks, meaning going shot. Why? Because you can see the force is dramatic downtown. Uh, uptown falls apart. So you basically, you're, you're putting on a trade when you just put your stop a few points away from those highs and you're gunning and this is where this, the spread comes in. You're at 120, well the bottom of that spread is at 107. So you're talking about 13 points on the way down. That's, that's a sweet number. So it's going to be wild. We're going to have some uh, uh, nice trading coming into the, the new year out here. Uh, if we take a look at the SPY, the SPY in general, and what you have with the SPY, that has been just hanging up at these highs. We've been at the same place in the SPY since November 20th. Uh, that really hasn't generated uh, big juice up here. And the amount of uh, thin, not thin trading, uh, small price spread. So what you have in the SPY is a very small price spread up at these highs. If we actually take a look at the SPX, what you're going to see with the SPX is the same type of correlation. Uh, the SPX on November 21st was at uh, 2070. We're at 2090 right now. Um, that's not a lot further. It's 20 points, but that is not a lot in the context of how you should be up and over highs. When, when you get up and over highs or break lows, you, you, if you're looking for a continuation, what you're looking for there is wide price spread and follow through, and they don't have it. Uh, Dow Industrials, uh, of course, uh, that is the top line number uh, that's up at highs right now, that also doesn't have the juice inside it. It's going to be about, this dollar move is going to be the, um, I suspect, one of the catalysts coming into uh, 2015. This market has loved a strong dollar, and the real key is going to be uh, what is going to back that down a little. And, you know, we'll see what that shakes out. And that's, uh, I suspect that's on a shorter term basis, because on a longer term basis, it absolutely does look like the, this dollar. Uh, after a back down, wants to get into this uh, 121 area. Maybe next four or five years, that's what we're going to see. Bonds, uh, the bond market is something that you want to keep an eye on in, in an extreme way. The reason being is that what we've done in bonds is this, is that you've, you're at the bottom of the range. Uh, we've done it with dramatically lighter volume, so that's saying that bonds continue to want higher price, lower yield, and when you do look around the world, that correlation um, basically is there. Why? Because they're still lending money, to, whether it's France, whether it's Italy, whether it's Spain. Uh, you're, you're getting money at almost half price compared to where you were, would be in the United States. And no matter you know, how many times the Fed thinks that they're going to try to raise rates, uh, the market itself, folks, the amount of cash that is coming into our markets and into our bonds is extraordinary. Uh, it's going to keep rates low. Uh, why? Because competitively, those rates are still really high. That's what it comes down to. Uh, where, the, where the whole catch is going to come out here is that where is the inflation and what parts of the economy are the inflation in? Uh, what, we do, what we definitely have is that we're saving a fortune on our oil. Oil and 
uh, gasoline. Gasoline right now, you know, the way gasoline is set up right now, so check this out. This is going to be amazing watching this shake out. Gasoline is trading out at a buck 53 wholesale right now. That gasoline market is set up to go down to about a buck 10. A buck 10 is going to blow people's minds because that means that you'll be filling up at the station for probably a buck 35, a buck 40. That would be just amazing. I don't think we've seen that uh, for a long period of time. And the way that oil is trading this time, this is where it's a little bit different also, is that when, when, when oil fell apart in 2007, you had every commodity fall apart. That's not the correlation here. That's not the same correlation. What you have is that the, the oil market absolutely is falling apart. The metals market had already been coming down for two and a half years. The metals market is going opposite. Um, of what the oil market is going. And the way that I'm looking at this oil market, it, it, it looks that this oil could stay down for a, a good period of time. Because when you do bring back the continuous contract, if I bring back this continuous contract and you take a look at it, uh, what you actually have is, you know, you, you're in the lower range and oil had traded at these lower, well, not, yeah, they're, lo they're lower prices, but we're talking about trading at those levels for years and years and years. You know, it was only in 2004 that we broke topside. Um, the longer that you hang down uh, at this, uh, you know, $50, $40 level, the longer that it can base out. And this just might have been just the, the pop in oil. That, you know, we went to 147 in 2008 before it fell apart and went to 32 bucks. There's going to be some uh, heavy destruction inside the inside the market. And, you know, when you do look at um, out west, our own, you know, whether it's uh, the Dakotas, the amount of jobs were extraordinary out there. Everything was uh, pretty extraordinary. Uh, it still is extraordinary out there. But listening to some of the folks that think that uh, it's just going to bounce right back, that's almost contrarian. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a contrarian move. Because most times when oil does fall apart, all these old oil guys, uh, they know bottom line is that uh, you better hunker down and it always goes lower than it should and you got to be able to stay in business, you know. Let's go to Don in Odessa. Hey, Don, what's going on? Hey, good morning. Uh, happy day after Christmas. Yeah, happy New Year, man. And Let's make it a great one. New Year's and all that good stuff. Yeah. Before I ask you my question, I want to say thanks a lot for the work that you're doing there. It's just wonderful, and uh, the new charts are just really great. <laughs> we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us, Don. Oh, anyway, um, I just heard you mention about the uh, about the dollar going to about 20 in four or five years. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm curious about the relationship. Do you think gold is going to equally go down and, and, and palladium, too? No, what has happened is this. It, it looks like, so it, it's a great question, number one, because the, there is a direct correlation. There's no doubt between, because gold is priced in dollars, okay? Um, and what happens is this, is that I expect, you know, the dollar is doing 100% move for move, so the dollar would back down a little. As the dollar backs down, that gives the metal market some breathing room for the next maybe year to year and a half, okay? Okay. And then what you'll see is that the strength you know, when next when, when doll when the but by that point probably gold's at fifteen hundred something like that. To, okay, the dollar starts backing down to like eighty five, eighty two. The go, then the dollar starts making a move again. Gold would consolidate again, pull back probably to thirteen hundred or something. You see what I'm saying? I do. But it, what you would have is that the dollar would be getting stronger and the metal would be getting stronger, and that okay. has to do with on a fundamental basis. It just has to do with that there's a lot of countries in a mess, big time. Um, yeah. And what, what about palladium? You think that's going to have the same kind of Palladium is different. What, what has happened is that, you know, palladium has been strong. Um, and that correlation has to do more so with the car business, okay? Because yeah. there, there is a, what, what, it, what has happened is that they're using more palladium versus platinum in cars. And that, that makes a difference, you know. Now, palladium is at highs. I mean, you know, palladium has been strong in a, in a huge way, man. Do you know what I mean? I pay a lot of attention to it because I, I happen to own a lot of palladium. And I say a lot for my standards. It's a lot, probably sure. for years, it's pennies. But but I've I've collected it from my business over the years, and it's part of my retirement, actually. Nice. <laughs> so if, I, if I'm going to lose a whole bunch in the next 10 years or so, I might seriously consider moving some of it out. Well, let me ask you something. You're at 780 or something. So... What would you consider 
palladium going down to that you wouldn't like? Um, well, anything. <laughs> well, anything? Well, no, I'm teasing you. I, hmm. yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, I've probably been collecting it since it was less than 200. All no, I know. That's why I'm asking. Because if you haven't been in the palladium market, folks, okay, you could, you know, what, seven years ago, you could buy palladium all day long at 230, 250. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, what I would do is this. You know, I wouldn't let this thing really get under like 740. Okay. Uh, you know, because this is a high price for palladium, man. You know, it really is. Um, but it's been hanging up there for a long time. You know, once it got out of that $300 range, man, it, it, it likes the six or $700 range, you know? Well, the largest supplier, of, as I understand it, is, is Russia. And uh, as long as we're having problems with them, we may have a restraint on that market. Uh, I would say that, yeah, yeah, and yeah. That, that totally makes sense, because there, there is no doubt that that's, that's the name of the game, you know. And I, I guess it really has, yeah, I mean, it has to do with how many cars are going to get sold, too. Yeah, as, yeah, as long as we're using a lot of the industry. Okay. Okay. Well, and we're going to sell cars. This, this economy's cranking, man. So, you know, I think you're in pretty decent shape. But don't, uh, well, it, well, what you're hearing off me more than anything is this. See, Palladium came out of nowhere, folks, and Don was a believer. And the people that were believers in it, that, that worked, man. I mean, you know, because the change was taking place from using platinum, and they still use platinum, but the change is taking place from using platinum on a, a, to palladium. And it's working. So, you know, maybe we'll never see another $250 palladium. That, that's hard to believe. But, but from from that, your lips to God's ears. Tom. I know. It's funny, though, isn't it? I mean, you know, I, you know what kills me is that I had not a lot of palladium. But I wasn't a believer. And I said, man, when it got to 500, I said, man, I'm selling this. Because what happens, folks, is that it, it, it was at 250 forever. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, yeah. okay. You know. <laughs> I know, isn't that funny? I know. Because I, I know I had plenty of listeners like yourself that said, no, no, the, the, that move is real. And, it's, and, and it was real. That's, it absolutely was, man. Thank you very much. Once again, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You too, man. Have a great one. Have a Go safe on. one. 877-927-6648. And... Uh, you know, that we'll see where this, uh, if we go over to silver for a second, what has been happening here, uh, silver is absolutely more volatile, but the correlation in the last few days have been pretty amazing because the correlation on the way down, um, silver was not getting whacked double the price of gold on the way down, but on the way back up, each and every time we've been starting to move, silver is moving twice the velocity of gold on the way up. And that in itself is also pretty cool. So. Uh, this, this battle is going to come on in the uh, 2015 for sure. Uh, what I do like uh, is that the aspect of the interest uh, in the metals market uh, has gone down dramatically. And that, that is a good indication that, uh, okay, the less interest there is, the better it is on a contrarian type of view that this thing, number one, wants to go higher. You know, if you've, depending on how long you've been listening, to TFNN, you know that bottoms are made inside the gold market when we get no calls. Tops are made inside the gold market when every single call uh, is they want to buy, they don't want to sell, uh, you know, a whole ball of wax. It's pretty wild. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back. We get the uh, Dow Industrials right now up 54, Nasdaq's up 25, S&P's are up 7.5. You get gold up 20 bucks, silver's up 39 cents. We're going to be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
TFNN has just announced a special sale for the Gold Report for a limited time only. To celebrate the 660th weekly issue of Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, that's more than 12 years, TFNN is having a special one-time sale. Right now, you can receive 60 weeks of the Gold Report, that's 14 months for only $600. We're offering Tom O'Brien's dynamic weekly newsletter at only $10 a week, half off the regular monthly price. By taking advantage of this special offer, you also get a signed copy of Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, an $88 value. The Gold Report is published every Tuesday and provides subscribers with Tom O'Brien's expert commentary on the industry, as well as detailed information on a variety of mining equities. This offer is valid for current or new subscribers, but is only good through this week and ends this Sunday, December 21st. Lock in the low rate of only $10 a week for The Gold Report by placing your order at the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and the power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, Unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 59. Nasdaq's up 25. S&Ps are up 7.5. And, and don't forget, folks, at TFNN, we do 10 hours of live programming every trading day, 8 o'clock in the morning till 6 in the afternoon. You can get all that programming right on your cell phone at tfnn.mobi. Now, if you haven't checked out Tiger TV, folks, check it out. It's really easy to get on your cell phone. Uh, we have a brand new HD setup straight out, whether it's our servers uh, coming into the studios, coming into all our host studios. Uh, they're great charts. Uh, they stream, and that way you can get the audio, plus you can get the video. Uh, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be coming up next, and we're going to keep you healthy with uh, Paige and Nico. And uh, then, of course, we're going to be back this afternoon. Uh, what we do have... Inside this marketplace, you're finishing out the uh, year with uh, at the highs in an extraordinary way, too. There's no two ways about that. You know, we'll see where this uh, brings us in 2015. Uh, the way that the uh, IBB uh, is trading is that that was another indication that that thing is going to go south, and it's going to go south very quickly. Uh, the, the downdraft in that was uh, pretty dramatic. And if we, uh, the IBB itself, the way that it likes to trade, uh, so it's, you know, you can, well, right now, the bottom line is you're up 6 bucks at 305 And you know what? This thing can get uh, run to 310 In fact, I'd, I'd like to see it personally run to 310 uh, Because what you have there is this. 
This is uh, almost one of the same setups. This is like a, a shot of consolidation uh, at these highs. But what you do have uh, starting to line up in, in a nice little way here is this, is that, let me get this up. So if I put that down, what you have set up is that now if you even take the, the highs of the horizontal channel and the lows of, those cha of that channel, what you're going to see is that the indication um, once again is setting up that you have uh, that's high volume lows versus the highs. And, and the, you know, the IBB first hit a high of 315, and you did that with uh, 1.8 million shares. Then you came down with 2.5. You made a second high with 2 million shares, and they made the low of 3.6. Uh, that's saying you know, forces downtown. The cool thing, though, is that you get a, a nice bounce like this. We had come down on Monday with 3.6 million. You go up on Tuesday. What day is today? Friday. Okay, no. So that was Tuesday. You come down with uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. So Tuesday, we come down with 3.6 million. Wednesday, you go up with 1.2. And today, we're doing, we're going to do all of like 600,000 today. <laughs> that is pretty cool, folks. Okay. Uh, I do expect to see that bounce a little bit higher. And what is cool about the IBB is that inside of that, you absolutely can bisect and dissect those equities because you only have to go through about seven equities to really get an understanding of uh, put this up here for a second to get an understanding of the strength and or weakness inside the IBB. Specifically, you have Biogen as eight, almost nine percent of the index. Amgen is seven point eight. Celgene is seven point seven. Jaleed is 7.3. Regenerin is 6.7. You just have to go through those right there. That's 15, 30. Yeah, that's 38% uh, right there. And if we do go, uh, each, each one of those have indicated they want lower price. Regenerin, that's up $13 uh, today. That's after coming down from 432 to 383. So what you, you come down $50 in three days. Uh, you do that low with 2.1 million, and now you're up with 198,000. That's a beautiful thing, folks. You stay right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. We're going to uh, have Nico and Page, and I'll be back this afternoon, folks. Dow Industrial's up 56, NASDAQ up 26, SP's up 750. Stay right there, man. Uh, and woman, tigers and tigresses. Basil's coming right up. Thanks so much. Bam! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.